All right, so my people over at Presonus just released the new Studio One 6.5, and they did have a few updates and a few upgrades, but there is something very special that they added to this that you guys have been seeing on some of your favorite music platforms. So let's go ahead and get to it right now. Bolo. So what's so special about the new Studio One update? Well, now it has the Adobe Atmos integration into it. So if you want to swing in tracks or if you have existing projects, you can now mix and render those tracks out in the Adobe Atmos format. So we all know the Adobe Atmos is under the spatial audio umbrella. So we don't just have Adobe Atmos that we can use. We can also use surround sound as well, which is cool because we've all used surround sound at some point. But with this new Adobe Atmos, it takes that surround sound and it's not just in front of us to the side of us behind us, but with Dolby Atmos, it could be on the top and on the bottom of us. You kind of get what I'm saying? So like, you know, when surround sound came out, that was like a big thing, you know, to have, you know, a sound shoot from this speaker come sounding like it's from behind you, just depending on how you had the speaker set up. But with this new Dolby Atmos stuff, it's kind of like when you walk outside, like on a balcony and you can hear the birds chirping in the air or hear the planes flying by, you hear somebody walking underneath you or you hear the cars down beneath you, it gives you that type of effect. So it's actually kind of dope, especially if you're doing like video editing and stuff like that and you need audio for that. that you can put yourself in that actual video and like place yourself in that and you will hear natural sounds just going all around you. But surround sound is good too now. Nah, we can't we can't let that up. Surround sound is good too, and I'm glad they put that in here. Now, the cool thing about using it in Studio One is that you can use it on your existing projects. Now it's actually very easy to do it in Studio One. This should not take very long because you know it's Studio One. Nothing takes long. Except for chopping up a sample. But that's for a whole nother video. But before we open up Studio One, I do have to say this. Now, in order for you guys to get the full effect, you would need to have a full surround sound system or you would need the headphones or the little ear pod things that they make now or the special speaker systems that they make for it. Now, I'm gonna be doing this in stereo today, but if you guys do have those type of systems and you have Studio One, this will work for you, okay? But I'm just gonna show you guys how to set it up at least. All right, so we're in Studio One right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to use Adobe Atmos in here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to export it as well. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use the uh, surround sound stuff in here as well. So if we open this up, you guys will see that uh, we just monitoring out of the left and right, and then we just have our regular panning right here. We got in the center right now, but we have our regular panning. In order to get this to work, what we're gonna have to do first is, let's go ahead and exit out of the mixer. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna highlight all these. And as you guys can see, we had this little drop down menu right here. And then we can select what type of output we want. We can have like uh 3.0, 4.0, you know, Cine or music. We're gonna do the 4.0 music because right now we are in a stereo output. So if we go ahead and go back in here, you will see that now, instead of us having that regular just panning on here, we now have the surround panner. And the reason why it looks like this is because we have a stereo out. So we can either go just hard left or hard right, or we can kind of put it in between here. And then we can still have some type of a surround sound setting. So now that we know all this, how do we get deeper into the settings? It's actually very easy. All we gotta do is go to song and go to spatial audio because spatial audio is the umbrella for surround sound and Dolby Atmos. Now, right now, as you guys can see, we are in surround sound and we're in stereo. Now, if we go ahead and change this to 4.0 music, press okay, things change. The surround panel changes now and now we have a complete control of our surround sound. And if we have that type of system, we will be able to hear certain things behind us, in front of us, to the side of us, or whatever. And then with these settings, we can change these as well. And then we can move sounds left, right, or behind us. All right, so for this demonstration, let me go ahead and just solo this first track right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works with surround sound. It's in stereo right now, so we won't be able to hear the full effect, but it'll at least show you guys how you can use it. So we can play this right now. And then we can go hard left. We can go hard right. And then we can move this all the way like kind of behind us a little bit to the left, or we can move this behind us to the right. And then we can still mess with these controls as well to make these bigger, or we can even pull this back. You know, it kind of gives us a little effect, you know, even though 
we're in stereo right now. So that's pretty much what you can do inside of surround sound. Now they have some other controls down here. They have the center level and they had this LFE level. Depending on who you talk to, people are going to give you different opinions on the LFE level. But from what I've heard from just about everybody I talked to, when you have an LFE in the back of the receiver or whatever of your uh, surround sound system or your Adobe Atmos system, you just hooked it up to a sub because most of the times they just put like lower frequencies on that channel. So you just hook up a sub to that. If I'm wrong, y'all let me know. If I'm right, just give me a thumbs up because I'm still kind of lost on that. All right, so now let's go ahead and go to the Adobe Atmos. So let's go back into song right here. Let's go to spatial audio. And then now we're going to go to Adobe Atmos. And right now it's going to ask us for our bed format and our output format. Right now, our bed format is 5.1, which I'm going to switch that over. And our output format is going to be 5.1 as well. OK, so we're going to cl click OK on that. And then as you guys can see, it shows us all the little views and everything on here. We have different views we can look at. It, um, you know, we can change from the side and all that good stuff. So that's actually kind of dope. I could leave this open or put this like on another screen if you have like another screen, but I'm just gonna just click off this right now because you can still see pretty much all the stuff moving right here. And then as you can see, we have this one little screen right here. And then if you click on this, you have loudness. And I like to put my loudness on LUFS because that's how I know how I can meet my loudness to where it's kind of consistent and I know where it's at. So now that we're in that, let's go ahead and uh, highlight all these tracks again. Let's go ahead and change this to 5.1. Now, when we do that, we can click on this and now we have the Adobe Atmos 5.1 and we can move this around now. So now we'll have like a sub and then we can have um, five other speakers as well and we can send that uh, bass stuff over to the sub as well. It's the same thing if we played that one sound, we can move it. Yeah, you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. Like if you had a full system and you had this hooked up to that, you know, that 5.1 system, you would have been able to hear the full effect. But since we're in stereo, we really can't do too much. But if you do have like those headphones and stuff and you have Studio One, I'm telling you, this thing is sound really good. Now, when we play this, now what we can do is we can take certain sounds. Like I could take this sound right here, kind of scoop this over a little bit right here. I can um, take this other sound. I can scoop this. Um, over right here. You don't have to double click on this every time, but I just use it for a reference. I can put that right here. Um, I had like another little sound right here. I think it's this one. And I can place this like back over here somewhere and like kind of pull this back, give it a little effect. So now we can play the whole beat back and you can hear the sounds kind of spread. You can hear that little ah sound I got in there and it'll be kind of like in the back left side or something like that. <laughs> As you guys can hear, like I have the one sound right here, the other sound on the right, and then the other one is supposed to be like in the back or the right. But of course, like I said before, we're in stereo, so you won't hear it as effective as you would if we actually had the real system. And uh, the beat I made very fast, so y'all don't get on me about that beat today. All right, I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes. As you guys can see, when we were playing everything back, you see that right there? You see that? Everything was showing up on here so you can see all the tracks and everything. Now you know we're in a Dolby Atmos situation. So now let's just say we like how everything sounds, automated everything, and we wanna go ahead and render this out. Very easy, very, very, very easy. We can go right here to song and then right here, it says export spatial audio right here. So we can go ahead and click on that. And then now we can save this and then we have all these additional mix down formats. OK, so we have the ADM format and then we can do it as in stereo 5.1, 5.12 or how we want. And then we can just bounce it down the way that we've always bounced it down in Studio One and just press OK. And that is pretty much it. So if you guys want to go ahead and dig a little bit deeper and have your songs kind of stand out a little bit more, especially when you're uploading things like to iTunes or whatever, you want to use the spatial audio, the Adobe Atmos stuff or the surround sound, you can now do it and bounce it out and it will be ready for you to upload to those different platforms. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. I'm learning just as much as y'all are learning as well. But thanks to Presonus and Studio One for putting this update in here. 
this thing is actually very dope. So if you're already a subscriber of the Studio One Plus, you can go ahead and get this without any extra money. If you guys have an earlier version of Studio One, you can upgrade or just go ahead and subscribe to the Studio One Plus. It is very cheap. It is very cheap for what you get. And uh, or if you just want to just get Studio One, they do have an option where you can just buy it outright. But you're going to have to pay to upgrade it when they upgrade it. But I hope this video was informative. I hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.